Hello everybody and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making relax bars and I'm super excited to make these. Um, some of the star ingredients making this a relax bar will be I'm using a large portion of organic cold pressed hemp oil. So that's going to go in there. Uh, I'm going to color with, this will be all natural, um, so I'm coloring with a spirulina powder and French green clay to give it sort of an earthy greenish tint. Um, my essential oils I'm using are lavender, which is very relaxing, and patchouli for sort of a chill out relax um, to kind of go with the hemp theme. And I'm also, the special ingredient is I am putting in a full bottle of very strong uh, CBD oil. That's what it is. <laughs> CBD, which is a hemp extract oil, which is different than hemp oil. Um, different plants, different parts of the plants. Um, so that's going in there. So this bar will have a, just an overall just relaxing when you lather up, just a chill out factor, <laughs> which is what I wanted. So uh, and then on top, I have just to keep with the theme, I have these organic hemp hearts that I'm going to sprinkle on top to sort of just keep with the whole hempalicious bar. So that's what we're doing today, making relax bars. Um, so I'm going to pull all my other ingredients together, get my oils melted and cooling, and my lye solution cooling, and we will come back and make some soap. All right, welcome back here, and I've got um, all my stuff set up. I wanted to show you what I've got going on. This is, is the liquid oil. It's olive oil um, and some of the olive oil is my solar infused lavender olive oil because I'm using lavender essential oil I thought it went with it but I wanted to show you the nice dark green color that is the hemp oil it's a nice cold press so it's just got all the natural colors in there so um, I just wanted you to look at that and I put some colloidal oats in my liquid oils uh, what I have here are my essential oils and a little bit of the liquid oils with, um, this is the French green clay and this is the spirulina, S spirulina, I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> um, with the essential oils, I just wanted to get those blended in so they are ready to go. And for my lye solution, I decided to do coconut milk. Um, I just thought that that sounded like it went with my hemp soap, my relax bar. I don't know, coconut milk sounded soothing to me. So that's what we have going on in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put my melted hard oils into my liquid oils now. And my hard oils are uh, coconut oil and organic sustainable palm and cocoa butter. That's what I have in here. I love unrefined cocoa butter and soap. Um, it makes a nice hard bar, super moisturizing, and it smells so good. <laughs> it really does smell like chocolate. All right. Also, the hemp oil uh, has really fantastic moisturizing properties, and it's full of omega fatty acids. Um, so it's good for your skin. Remember, our skin is a large organ and it does absorb what we put on it, which is why this bar is called Relax, because hopefully it'll just relax you when you use it. I'm gonna buzz my oils together with the oats real quick. And I have to turn the power on first. There we go. Okay, now I have my coconut milk, Lye solution, I did put Tussa silk fibers in here. What I do with my coconut milk um, is I put it in a little silicone ice cube tray mold and freeze it up in chunks. That way, when I put it with the lye solution or with the lye, it doesn't overheat. Um, it just makes dealing with milk. I do most of my milk products frozen um, or, or very cool. If they're not frozen, they're very cooled off. Go. 
close this up together here. And I'm going to go ahead and whisk and pull off the rest here. because we don't want this going too fast on us. It's already a nice thick trace going on, so let's go ahead and pour off into our container here. And this container is going to have the spirulina big container here is going to have my um, French green clay. Actually, put that in there. there and this has our lavender essential oil and patchouli. Oh, and the CBD oil was already in the liquid oil, so that was already placed in there. So there is the French green clay, which is just a nice sort of, almost olive color right now. We will see after the cure how it holds up. Let me pull this out. And here is our spirulina. It's just wonderful antioxidant. It's good stuff. I wasn't sure how much to use the blue-green algae, and it does smell very um, vegetable-y kind of <laughs> algae smell, which is not unpleasant. It just sort of is what it is. But after saponification and the soap curing, I think the patchouli and the lavender will be what remains in that sort of vegetable spirulina, spirulina smell will dissipate, I think. It's not my intention to make a vegetable smelling soap today. <laughs> I really do want lavender patchouli scent. That's my goal. All right. I think because I've got a little clay here that we'll go ahead and just do sort of a drop swirl and then I may take my hanger in there. I thought about doing it in the pot swirl, but um, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna do it this way. Actually, let's do this. We're just going to pour down a little and we'll just go back and forth. Let me center this up for you. There we go. And I'm just going to keep pouring in the same corner here. This is kind of relaxing, which is fitting for my relax bars, right? It's kind of mesmerizing. Pouring back and forth. But these are gonna have wonderful um, skin properties and scent properties. And it's just gonna be good stuff. All right, I think now I'm going to just start going back and forth. Oops, let me move my stick blender out of the way. Just to get a little different direction. I 
don't think I'm going to run my hanger through there. I think with the pour in we did, it's going to be kind of groovy on the inside, so I'm not going to mess with it. We're just going to do the cut tomorrow and see what we've got. I think it'll be cool. Plus, this is very liquidy, so I know that it sort of blended. And I don't want to muddy up the colors too much. I definitely want there to be a distinct color variation. Mm, this smells good. I know some people aren't patchouli fans. I am. I really like um, woodsy, musky sort of, I guess you could say even man, more masculine scents. Um, that just tends to be what I like. Not, I mean, I, I do appreciate a good floral, but it's not my favorite. I think my default is the more musky, woodsy scent. So patchouli is like right up my alley. Plus, well, I'm not a hippie child. I was born in the 60s, um, but I don't remember that. I was a baby, but I think it's pretty groovy. I was an 80s girl. Goodness, you know, it's neat though. Age and wisdom that comes with it. I wouldn't go back. I enjoy it, but I love being where I am today. <laughs> it's a good thing. All right. Now I am going to get a a um, chopstick and do a little swirling here. Let's see. Mm, I think we'll just do that. Yeah, let's do that. organic hemp seeds that I'm going to sprinkle down the top of each one of these just for a totally hempalicious over-the-top hemp stuff. The only downside is it covers up those pretty swirls so I'm not going to go all over the top I'm just going to try and make stripes here so you can see a little swirly because, you know, what's the point in making it if you're not going to see it? Sometimes I like flat top soaps. I love the texturized tops, too. I like it all. But every once in a while, a nice flat top with the swirls just kind of sits right with you. All right. I think that's good. Just give these a little tap. And we'll lose some when we do the cut, but that way we don't lose too many. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with our rubbing alcohol, my rubbing alcohol. I keep saying our because, you know, I'm bringing you in here with me, but all right, let's spray it. And I'm gonna put the lid on this and let it go to bed overnight and we'll come back for the cut in the morning. I'm hoping it goes through gel phase. I think it will. With the coconut milk and everything. So there we have our Relax hemp-based CBD soap. Let's come back tomorrow and I'll see you then. All right, it's the next day, good morning, and uh, I just got back from my walk. It's cold but sunny out, so I'm happy for that. And we're gonna take the lid off my Relax Bars. This was made with the hemp oil and CBD oil, lavender and patchouli essential oils. It tame, it's pretty, the green stayed, the spirulina um, green stayed on top. I can't wait to get inside. But I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the CBD oil that I used. Um, there may be some confusion about 
that. So I want to clear up a few things. Uh, the CBD oil I use is THC free. Can you get high from using this soap? No, you absolutely cannot. <laughs> um, what gives you that feeling of being high is THC in the cannabis plant. This is from the hemp plant um, and the CBD oil is really healthful for the cannabinoids that are in it. Um, so many health benefits. Uh, this is a THC free again CBD oil um, but, but uh, CBD is very good. It's anti-inflammatory. Um, it's good for skin issues. It is a pain reducer, um, anti-inflammation, uh, joint pain, muscle pain. Um, it's just really good stuff. So I would encourage you, if you have cautions or curiosities about CBD oil and cannabinoids, which are naturally occurring in our plant life, that um, anyway, I would just really encourage you to do your homework on that uh, and read up on it and see for yourself if it's for you. I think it's wonderful. Um, I love creation. I love the plants and all of the wonderful things that the good Lord made and hemp is one of those plants. So that's kind of where I am on it. But um, for this soap, it's just very healing and relaxing. Um, so let's get into it and let's cut this slab. <laughs> 